Rockford's home for Classic Rock 96.7. The Eagle, good morning. I'm Double T. And always looking for new stuff to watch. Plenty of extra time to watch TV and movies and whatnot. And my friends and I, we always try to one-up each other finding cool things to let everybody else know about. A couple of weeks ago, I got a text message from a buddy. He said, you have to see The Pretender. It is a documentary, and it's awesome. I watched it, and it's one of my favorites out there right now. Joining me, special guest, Jim Toscano, the director, and Mike Kunda, the star. <laughs> Fellas, how you guys doing? Yo, <laughs> we are here, and we are locked in Quarantineville, and I can't think of a better person to talk to than a Rocky fan about the Pretenders. <laughs> well, I'm going to start out with Jim. Give a little of the premise of the documentary. So, you know, the, <clears throat> the story, The Pretender, is a, a story basically about Mike Kunda, which... Um, I think is, I know, is the world's biggest Rocky fan, biggest Rocky Balboa fan, hands down. So this film, you know, Mike Mike saw the movie 40-plus years ago, and he lives it every day since then, since he was 10 years old. And this story is is basically, you know, it's about what makes Mike tick. You know, what what kicked this, this Rocky thing off and... And just kind of what's behind it, and and what's life like for 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 Mike, the world's biggest Rocky fan. I'm talking to Mike Kunda. He's a star of the new documentary, The Pretender. Mike, what was it about Rocky that very first time you watched it that all of a sudden you're like, this is the best thing ever? Rocky was very lonely. When we watch him walk around the streets of Philadelphia, he he really he's walking everywhere by himself, and I was. I was a really an outcast as a kid. I was very odd. I was strange. I was always wearing Halloween costumes year round. So I, I connected with the loneliness, but I also connected with the determination of the character of Rocky Balboa, which is, as I would grow to learn, is the determination of, of Sylvester Stallone. Uh, because, you know, Rocky is no better or no worse than anyone else, which to me is an average Joe. So what he had, where, what others didn't, was determination. So his limited skill set, he could take that and go far beyond simply based on determination. Was it basically Rocky that you were a huge fan of, or were you a fan of Sylvester Stallone? Was it both? How did that all work for you? So in 17, I was 11 years old in 1979 when I saw Rocky for the first time on TV. And of course, that kicked it all off for me. <clears throat> and then as Rocky II, I saw that, uh, that came on Homebox, I believe I saw it, and then I started saying, oh my God, this guy has got like a, a whole plethora of movies. So by the time Rocky III came out, I had seen it in the movie theater that summer like 63 times. Then I started really getting into uh, the history of Stallone as an actor, and I loved Paradise Alley and Lords of Flatbush and Fist. And I thought, my God, this guy is, he's like a Brando almost, which is, is true in his early years before he made the decision to become like an action icon, which is a totally different set of muscles you have to flex, not just physical, but mental. But it was always Rocky, always the, especially the original Rocky, because of the, the just the heart and, and the determination that's in the character. I'm talking to Jim Toscano, the director of The Pretender, the documentary, and and Jim, how did you find out about Mike, and what made you decide this story needs to be told and have a documentary made about it? Well, I met Mike, uh, I was actually working in, in Philadelphia, and I met Mike, he was, they were filming the, the movie Rocky Balboa, with, which is the sixth film in the franchise, and I just happened to be there, and I saw Mike, and Mike was kind of, you know, out there waiting to, you know, see what he could see, see if he could meet Stallone. And he had a giant painting uh, that he painted, you know, and uh, so everyone was kind of drawn to him. He kind of looked like Sly, kind of sounded like Sly, and he was drawing kind of a, a little little crowd around him. And so we, we sat and talked for a little bit and uh, for a while, actually. And the thing was, though, that hooked me was I was in town for the week, and every night Mike would show up on the local news. You know, they do these, like, um, Hey, you know, Sylvester Stallone's back in Philly and no one's happier than local guy Mike Kunda, you know. And it was like every, every night, I think, in my hotel, I was like, there he is again, there he is again. And we exchanged information. And so I got um, in contact with Mike. We, we kept up 
with each other and checked in with each other. And then, uh, you know, I saw online how dedicated Mike was. Uh, and then Mike wrote a book called Cue the Rocky Music. And I thought, I, I got to do something. I got to I gotta film this guy. Maybe we'll do a little five-minute video on him, uh, you know, before someone else does. But once we started filming, uh, I knew it had to be more than, than five minutes. You know, the story is, is too complex and deep to just be a five-minute thing. So we ended up five years later with an hour-long documentary about you know, Mike's life. I'm talking to Mike Kunda. He is the star of The Pretender, a documentary about his life and his love of the Rocky movies. You're a big fan, Mike, of the movies. And then at what point did you decide, okay, not only do I love the Rocky characters, but I want to start emulating Rocky and start acting like him, doing things like <clears> him, <throat> and trying to get my look like him. So that all started, I had been fired in a in a seven-year period of from about 27 jobs. So I got so bad, I just hung a sign around my neck asking, uh, do I look like Rocky? So people would throw tomatoes, and some people would ask me to do a song and a dance, whatever. But no, seriously, uh, friends of mine entered me into a national Rocky lookalike contest in 2006. And you have to understand, I never thought I looked like Rocky. I never thought I sounded like Rocky. <clears throat> but the one thing I did believe I did better than anybody else was Rocky's mannerisms from watching the film over 600 times, the original Rocky. So I thought, hmm, okay, I initially denied going to the contest, but I entered the contest, I won it, and uh, it all just snowballed from there. If you could imagine Forrest Gump meets Rocky, that's how my <laughs> life has been. I have fell backwards into everything. I can tell you, I did not go looking for this. I stumbled into it, and one thing begat another, and it, I don't know if it's karma. I don't know if it's what you wish for you'll get. I think it's just being a good human being, and people will kind of gravitate to that. I think we all have that potential. That's, that's I my just want to add to that. Uh, I just want to add to that, you know, back to Mike saying about his mannerisms. Uh, we, you know, we played the film in Beverly Hills Film Festival, and Frank Stallone was there. You know, Sly's brother. And we, we were talking, Frank and I, after, and he said, you know, like, in Sly, you know, wow, this guy has got my brother's mannerisms down to a T. I mean, he, he said that without being prompted. He said, man, this guy has just got my brother's walk down. You know, he keeps calling him Sly my brother, which I thought was kind of cool. But he's got my brother's walk down. He's got his mannerisms, his hand gestures. So that was a pretty big... Uh, endorsement from frank right there alone i'm talking to jim toscano the director of the pretender it's a documentary are you a big rocky fan were you a big sly fan before you started this oh yeah absolutely i mean you'd, you'd have to be a big fan to to make a film like this but yeah i mean that's initially what, what drew me to mike uh you know even just meeting him on the street was because i was a rocky fan uh but but yeah i uh you know, I'm, I'm an Italian American, so every we have to like Rocky growing up. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it, you know, but Mike, you know, everyone says they're a big fan. You know, like and you think like, yeah, yeah, you know, but Mike, you know, Mike uh, is definitely the biggest fan. One, one story I always tell, and you saw it in the doc, was like he had this punching bag that he'd hit in his basement, and he hit it so much every couple months he'd have to move the the joist from the wall over and over and over until he had like holes all over his basement. So yeah, I'm definitely a Rocky fan. Uh, but, but Mike is definitely the biggest and it's, it's been awesome working on a film like this. That is almost like, you know, our own little Rocky film is like a dream. We're talking to Mike Kunda. He's the star of the pretender, the documentary about his love for Rocky. And the one thing I noticed, Mike, watching the documentary, I was kind of surprised, but maybe not. Your family are huge supporters of you and what you do. Doesn't that uh, ask the question, where has psychiatry been in the Kunda family? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> no, seriously. Um, there was something I, I you cannot choose your parents. You cannot choose who you're going to be born into. Uh, I happen to be born into a, a mother and father who they didn't have a lot monetarily. They had a lot of love. And they had a lot of common sense. And uh, they had a lot of love for their two boys. And um, the, the thing that I never wanted to do, I never wanted to disappoint 
it wasn't so much the mother or the father because they would always understand, you know, kids are flawed. Kids are kind of stupid because they didn't have experiences in life yet. So they would always understand my mistakes. But I never wanted to disrespect their journey it took to get to having a family and the sacrifices they had to make. So whenever I did whatever it was I was doing, I always kept that in mind. And they worried. I mean, Jim shows in the documentary, they were very concerned because I got into a lot of fights at an age when I couldn't defend myself. And, and it was very, very difficult. And that was just the girls that beat me up, <laughs> which was true. There was a thing called the Daisy Mafia in Scranton, and they would just beat me up because I was so foolish. But anyways, parents are very supportive. Well, and the other thing is, too, some people, if they haven't seen the documentary yet, saying, hey, has this guy ever had a girlfriend? Well, not only <laughs> you have that, but you're married, and your wife is all about it, too. I know, I know. She's on the same meds as I am. We both take, like, about 600 cc's of L-Dopa every day to stay normal. <clears throat> no, she, and you know what's funny about her? She's a Rambo girl. There was a, we met in 1989 uh, because I had changed my hair. I had been emulating Rocky for so long, I could not get a girlfriend. And let me tell you something. When you're 20, you got to get a girlfriend. And so <laughs> I thought, okay, maybe Rocky will take a backseat to Rambo. Rambo 3 had come out, and I had grew my hair, grown my hair very long. And one day in Burger King's parking lot, these carload of beautiful girls come by and the driver was my wife. And later she told me the only reason she came over to talk to me was because I had long Rambo hair because first blood is her favorite movie. So there you go. <laughs> See, there's somebody for everybody in the world, isn't there? Yeah, there is. There is. There's a, there is a lid for every pot. Does Sly know about the movie? Has he seen it? What does he think about it? I don't even know if you know this double T, but like about two weeks ago, uh, I woke up in the morning to my phone blowing up uh, because Sylvester Stallone had posted on his social media, on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, uh, the night before that he saw The Pretender on Amazon Prime, and uh, he took his phone out, filmed the screen, and him saying, you know, if for any Rocky fans out there, this is a must-see documentary about the world's number one Rocky interpreter. And uh, ever since then, I mean, that's been two weeks ago, it's been, it's been nutty, man. It, it, it went to number two trending on Amazon right behind a Will Smith movie, and it's just been, like, nonstop fun for Mike and I for the last couple of weeks. Oh, my God. Yeah. See, that's so cool. Yeah. It, I didn't even it, know that. It was, it, oh, it was crazy. You can go to Sly's Instagram, and it's about 12 or 13 posts back. And you can click it. I just clicked it before we get on the radio, and we're looking at it. It just crossed over to 475,000 likes. So it really blew up. That's huge. That's huge because we could not afford uh, marketing that, like that because people could not watch. They cannot buy what they don't know exists. So we would have been relegated to the back heap of Amazon Prime, and now we're trending. Or we were trending, which is normal. I mean, it's going to trend high and low, but still, this was such an amazing thing. And the thing is, I never asked Sly to do anything. He endorsed my books. He endorsed the Rocky tours I do in Philadelphia for a living. I never asked him to do any of those things. And he uh, uh, endorsed Jim's beautiful movie, the Pretender. <laughs> Mike, yeah. and, uh, the star of The Pretender, the documentary about his love of the movie Rocky. Mike, what are you up to now? You mentioned the Rocky tours in Philadelphia. Let's hear what you're up to now. Sure. So um, for me, you know, COVID-19, uh, in case anyone doesn't understand this, sucks. <laughs> it's cut into a lot of people's businesses, namely mine. I run a tour business called the Yo Philly Rocky Film Tour. And we take people from around the world Two times a day. It's a three-hour tour, and we go to all the Rocky locations. There's well over 70 locations. And uh, I tell them all types of stories that Sly has shared with me uh, over the years. I've been on several sets of the, the Rocky and the Creed movies, and Stallone has taken time to speak with me and tell me things that stories that are not on the Internet. So I, I pass these stories on along with my own knowledge and a bit of my own story. Uh, to people. And that, that's basically my job. I'm also a Rocky impersonator, or Sly likes to call me an interpreter. I work for, uh, I get hired to do corporate gigs, show up as Rocky with Ben Franklin in Philadelphia, 
we run around <laughs> like the characters, and then we collect our paycheck and go home. Well, you think about Philadelphia, you think about Cheesesteak, Liberty Bell, and Rocky. I mean, that's Philadelphia. It that sure is. It sure is. <laughs> Jim Toscano's the director of The Pretender. Jim, for you, what's next? What else do you want to do with this documentary? And what else do you have coming up in the future? Well, I'm uh, I'm studying to be an Apollo Creed impersonator now. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Mike's my trainer. <laughs> no, I... Uh... So, I mean, you know, first of all, you know, making this documentary along with my my business partner, Danny Janino, has just been like a, a dream. And like, you know, you asked me earlier, you know, am I a Rocky fan? And of, of course I am. And then to have our first film uh, be endorsed by A-list Sylvester Stallone, you know, Rocky himself, uh, blew my mind blew my mind, blew my family's mind. I mean, it's just been a, a crazy ride here the last couple of weeks. But uh, w- what's next is, you know, we're um, we're in Detroit, Michigan, and we have a pr- small production company here, and we're working on a couple new documentary ideas. It's kind of the the, the genre that we love uh, to make. So we're we're uh, working on something about a uh, stand-up comedian in New York City uh, who is also a rabbi, and uh, – we got a couple, we got a TV pilot that we just shot, so we're kind of editing that. That's kind of a local thing in Detroit. And to be honest, like the last couple of days, we've had some really, really awesome uh, opportunities kind of pop up. They're very green right now, but we, we had someone, one of the actors, I don't want to say too much, but an actor from Uncut Gems come to us, the Sandler movie, and uh, sent us a message about talking about doing a documentary about one of the characters from the film. So that's like so uh, fresh that I'm just excited and probably saying too much already. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty yeah. exciting. I know I watched the documentary on Amazon Prime, but where else can people find the documentary? Uh, you can get it uh, on iTunes, um, uh, you know, a bunch of players, uh, Tubi. It's uh, streaming on Tubi, which is kind of a newer platform. Um, Vimeo on demand for people out of the country and a couple of voodoo a couple other platforms so and we're still uh you might see it a couple couple new places now because of the the push that Stallone gave us people want to find out more info about it do you have a website and facebook and all that yeah uh, we're super active on our instagram which is uh the pretender movie uh at the pretender movie and then uh you can go to our website which is thepretendermovie.com, and there there are links to our social media and where you can see the film there. Mike Kunda is the star of The Pretender, the documentary. Mike, if people want to find out more about you, find out about your Rocky tours once we can go places once again, where can they find you on the Internet and about all that stuff? If they want to take the Rocky tour, uh, they can just Google uh, the Yo! Philly Rocky Film Tour. Uh, the, it'll take you to the website. There's a bunch of pages. It's pretty easy. Lots of information for people to check out. And if people want to follow me, I suggest go to Instagram. I'm really, really active on there. And it's a, a really good vibe on Instagram. Very positive, uh, nurturing posts to keep everybody uh, focused on what really matters, family. <laughs> Which is Rocky. <laughs> exactly. Rocky, yes, I'm sorry. How dare I say family? What was I thinking? <laughs> <laughs> and if somebody wants to hire you to come out, maybe they're having a party, they think Rocky would be a good yeah. person to have. Do you do appearances and stuff? I do. You can send uh, an email to my uh, manager, Chris Wiseman, uh, at I look like Rocky at yahoo.com. <laughs> 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 well, fellas, I really appreciate you taking the time. Like I said, a friend of mine suggested I watched it right away. I was like, this is awesome. My three favorite shows that I recommend to everybody right now is The Pretender, Tiger King, and The Last Dance about the Bulls. So you guys are right up there, man. Congratulations oh, on a great oh, project. Thank, thank you buddy. so much. Really appreciate, appreciate that. Jim Toscano, the director, and Mike Kunda, the star of The Pretender. Go check it out, especially if you love Rocky. It is a great film. It's Rockford's own for Classic Rock. 96.7 The Eagle.